Hello, and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And today, I don't know, can you see what this is? It says it right there. It is a Rabaconda uh, tire changer. I'm going to turn my phone on silent. Um, full disclosure before you start the video, in case it affects your desire to watch the video. I have to close that door, it's windy again. Um, Rabaconda did give me a 20% discount in order to. Well, I mean, I was going to buy one anyway and then feature it, but they gave me a 20% discount. Welcome to the darker garage, but quieter. So they gave me a 20% discount due to the fact it was going to be in some videos. Why? Well, you know, there we go. Um, so yeah, basically we're in the middle of a chain and sprocket change on the V-Strom. Um, so what better time than to try to throw on a new Anarchy 3 tire. Um, yeah, I mean, am I confident in doing this? Not really. Um, the Anarchy 3 also doesn't have a dot to you know, show where the um, lightest part of the tire is, so hopefully balancing is okay. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm not showing the assembly process of the Rabaconda this time. I'm obviously going to be doing a lot more tire changes uh, with this, and if someone wants a full kind of run through video from breakdown to, to start up, um, I can do that too. But for now, let's just try change this change this tire. So the only issue here as well is obviously with the uh, the V-Strom over here with its chain and sprockets off. I don't have as much space as I would really like to have. Um, but first and foremost, just to show you, when you pop this out, this is a little locator. You do get, oh don't lose that, that's important. Nice spacer. You do get a two, you can get a different spindle. Um, this spindle obviously is the one for I think 20 to 32 millimeter um, hubs, but essentially you want to make sure these wheel blocks are actually sitting where your wheel is, which I have already checked. So we're going to pop this back on there. And the reason I'm not really worried about showing you the assembly process is, in fairness to Rabaconda, they do have a really nice um, user guide that comes with it that's in color. So anyway, let's. Give this a go. So in case you've never done it, that is a valve stem that I just, the valve stem core that I just removed. I'm gonna put that all the way to one side safely. Now, I will probably end up having to get soapy water, but first, let's see, can we break the bead? And what we do need to do is adjust, um, Essentially, you need to adjust that piece till you're hitting right above there. That should be about it. And I mean, a little fast adjuster is really good for that. So now we should just be able to try to break the bead. Might need to move that down slightly. We'll see. There we go. Okay, so breaking the bead so far is functioning. Okay, so that worked all right. That's the first side of the bead broken. So now we're gonna swap it all around. I feel like I'm doing this partially incorrect, but I'm not sure. All right, so that tire is well and truly off the bead. Now, now we want to mount up this wild contraption. So this is the duck head tool. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to adjust this up to just rest on it like that, I think. Or, yeah, like that. So the duck head tool should kind of sit in onto, um, like that, in over the rim. Um, <laughs> I, I am learning this as I go, people. So hopefully it's, it's looking good. Like I said, once I learn it better, I will do a proper, proper video. So now it says to turn this down to the six o'clock position roughly, because apparently that's the best starting position. And then you want to put this pin in and have your wheel up against it. Essentially what that will do is stop the wheel turning when we're ratcheting around here. So now what we want to try to do is lift the tire over the, over the duck head was like that and I think we can just hook it in here so just to show you what that looks like we essentially have the 
wheel iron in over the duck head and then it loops into this nice holder here. And now as far as I understand, we should be able to ratchet it around with some soapy suds. Um, I don't actually have any soapy suds, but what I was gonna be doing anyway is cleaning the wheel. So I am going to use cleaning agent. It should lubricate it uh, anyway, but time will tell. So now this should be in the nine o'clock position roughly, like this. These are obviously pretty strong tires, being adventure tires, so I'd be interested to see how well it works. Oh, oh. Hey, look at that. Color me impressed. <laughs> I, I did not think that would be um, as easy as that. So now what we want to do is get obviously the other side of the tire and do the same thing. Okay. There we go. Tire off. <laughs> Success. <laughs> um, I'm pretty happy I managed that. So essentially the wheel, as you look at it, would usually be turning counterclockwise. So if you look on the tire here, there's a rear, I don't know, can you see that? But there is a rear symbol right there. Um, so basically the tire is gonna be going on like that. Now, whoever mounted this wheel last time had <laughs> wheel weights on both sides of the wheel, right by the valve stem. Um, I think that's stupid, so we obviously will not be replicating that. Um, to put this back on, you're gonna wanna use bead grease, um, which hopefully you can see me do. But essentially, you just paint it on here, which I could have done a neater job on. And then, so you can see it better, I hope. Yeah, we're gonna paint it on. Uh, this side as well. This all comes with the Rabaconda starter kit, by the way, and this is not an advertisement. I don't have a deal with them for anything like that. They just gave me a discount because it'd be in videos. And I'll be honest, the reason I really wanted to buy this is because, I mean, it has the potential. I'm just gonna clear off some excess. It has the potential to be a really good tool for average people uh, like myself especially with the cost that uh, garages over here in America are charging. Um, and we'll go through the cost at the very end, but at home in Ireland, I don't know what it'd be worth um, buying the Rabaconda, but here, 100% worth it. So just double check my direction of rotation again, which is that way. And then you wanna just kinda get a little bit of it on. I actually was able to mount one side by sheer force. Uh, sometimes weight comes in handy. So now to remount this side, uh, which is the same by the way if you aren't like me and don't have lots of weight to use, um, you may not be able to do what I just did. But essentially you want to pull the tire into the drop center which is the center of the wheel so that you can try to get your duck head up over that rim. Then I think it's this side. Whoops. It's kind of the, the opposite of what you did to get it off. Like that. So now, I think we should be able to just wind this back on. I know it does say for some of the really tougher tires, you may have to use um, like drop center tools. Hopefully I do not have to use those. So far, so good. All I'm doing up here is just keeping pressure on with my hand. Okay, now we're pulling it off because I think I don't have all the wheel, maybe, all the tire in the drop center. Eh, no, okay. I think I do. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the drop center tools. 
So we're gonna just go around to the top again, as I find that easier. And essentially, uh, that's the drop center tool. And we're gonna put on two of them. So now this should hopefully work. There we go. So, I mean the drop center tools work great. And then they just pull out. And it's all real nice non-damaging plastic stuff. I'm actually really impressed by that. That was super difficult. Well, I thought it was gonna be more difficult, but not bad. Not bad, Rabaconda. I'm impressed. I really hope, did I put the, yeah, I did put the rotation on correctly. So uh, now, theoretically, Theoretically, I should just be able to loosen this off, pop that out, slide this away, and then what we want to do is to seat the bead, you're going to want lots and lots of air pressure, okay? And you want to have your little valve stem ready. So to reseat the bead, and it's going to be loud. So yeah, like I was, I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by air. You will want a fairly hefty air tank uh, to be able to do what I just did there. And then just top your wheel back up. Now what we're gonna do is swap out the Rabaconda for a Mo Motion Pro Balancer. I should mention, uh, the Rabaconda system does come with a strap if you have spokes, um, instead of uh, using this pin here. If you have a cast wheel, use the pin. If you have spokes, use the strap. So now we just need to loosen this out. So this is a Motion Pro wheel balancer kit. Um, I have never balanced the wheel on my own before, but Sean Lynch did show me how to. Um, I know some people talk about like leaving on the, leaving on the, um, how do you put it? Sprocket carrier. I. I don't think it makes a difference to be honest because your center is your center, you know? So I tighten that back in. Now, how you do this from what I remember from Sean is you put the part you think might be the heaviest to the top and then let it go. And you want to see where it settles. Like straight off the bat, that looks pretty, pretty not bad. Uh, if, you know, I picked the, the heaviest bit right, which I'm guessing I didn't. So now we'll put the valve to the bottom and we'll let go. Okay, I think I might have been the luckiest person alive because this actually looks balanced. <laughs> okay, we'll put the valve to the right. And we'll put the valve to the left. I mean, that wheel is barely moving. I actually think it's, uh, I think this is pretty much balanced. Valve to the top. I think I know why they added weights. I think it's because they thought like, oh, well, I better put some weights on it, but I mean, this wheel looks balanced to me. Like it settles back nearly where it was every time. So yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna try balance that. Um, if anyone who is watching is like a, a tire professional, um, let me know. But to me, that looks genuinely fine. Uh, obviously try clean off as much of the grease off the wheel as possible. You don't want to like somehow managing to make it down onto your, um, your actual road surface. I'll probably clean these off with some uh, blue chemical guys cleaner, what I use for everything, because that's really good at taking off grease. So, but uh, that's why you don't really want to overuse it. But I mean, there you go. That's, uh, that's it done. So the Rabaconda system, would I recommend it? Um, honestly, yes. Uh, this is the first tire I've ever changed myself. And that was not difficult. <laughs> So the price, um, I paid, I think, $480 uh, with the 20% discount for the starter kit. Uh, I think the starter kit will cover me for pretty much all of my bikes forever. Um, but the price is worth talking about. If you pay the full price, which call it $600 um, for the, the starter kit, which is what you need with your grease and everything else and your bead breakers and all that stuff, um, 
it is important to kind of sit down and do a calculation with yourself. Obviously, I have four bikes here and I ride a lot. Um, if I go to Cycle Gear to change my tires, which means I also have to buy my tires through Cycle Gear, you're looking at about $30 to change per wheel, so that's $60 per change. And obviously the added inconvenience of having to drive to a Cycle Gear. Um, but it is very important because for the V-Strom, for instance, that would be 10 tire changes if I was to pay full price um, for that system, um, which is a lot. I mean, 10 tire changes on the V-Strom, uh, judging by the mileage I got off that, that last Anarchy 3, which we'll go through in a separate video, it would pretty much be the lifespan of the bike. So, I mean, it is really important to know use case when you're buying this. If you're someone who doesn't really do a lot of their own tires, if you don't want to help out your friends, I mean, I'm hoping my friends will also, you know, pop over here and utilize this because it's a great tool um, to be able to do your own, own tires, in my opinion. But I do think you need to sit down and, and, and look at that yourself. If your nearest dealer um, only, you know, charges $75, for instance, per, per wheel, which was attempted with me, a uh, wheel off the bike, um, obviously then uh, it, it becomes more economically viable. But um, this was not a review of the Rabaconda. This was just a quick me trying it for the first time. I will use it again, and then we can review it afterwards. Um, but for now, first impressions, really, really impressed. Very happy I bought it. And uh, it's just another kind of um, tool into the arsenal of being able to do my own work, which is just something I enjoy doing anyway. So if you've watched, thank you very much for watching. As always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. Also a special thank you for Rabaconda. They didn't have to give me a discount. I was gonna buy this, this system anyway, um, but they did. So really impressed with that. And KU, I, think, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, was very, uh, very easy to deal with over email. So appreciate it, KU. Um, and yeah, it's kind of nice to see companies like this offering systems that just make it easy for the average person at home um, to, to, to do their own work because I'm a, a big fan of, of that. Uh, I'm gonna like triple quadruple check, make sure this is balanced, but I, I'm actually pretty happy with how it looks so far. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And until next time, um, yeah, thank you, appreciate your Appreciate your eyes and uh, you'll see this being used more, definitely. I'm going to be doing the two Z900 RS tires soon too, so yeah. Thanks again for watching. Adios. Outro crew. Oh, I have dirt on my head. Are you the type of person who'd rather do this work yourself or would you like to leave it to, uh, to a shop? Personally, I just, I just like the ability to be able to do it myself. Um, so, I mean, that, that alone for me is enough for me to, to shell out for this. Bye, Outro crew.